Hello all. Today let's see a question from gate 2019 mechanical paper 2. Question number 37. A horizontal cantilever beam of circular cross section length 1 meter and flexural rigidity EI is equal to 200 newton meter square is subjected to an applied moment MA is equal to 1 newton meter at free end as shown in this figure. So we are supposed to find out what is the magnitude of the vertical deflection of the free end in mm. So before going into the solution, if you want to know more detail about the deflection of beams, which is this case, please refer to the NPTEL lecture, deflection of beams, strength, uh, strength of materials course by SK Bhattacharya from IIT Kharagpur. So let's move forward. These are some of the useful data that we will be using in solving this particular problem. So the initial one is the deflection formula which is given uh, in this form. You can utilize this for this particular cantilever beam and derive an equation which is y is equal to ml square by 2ei. So this is the deflection of the cantilever beam formula. So you can use this formula directly. But initially, we will see how to derive this formula so that you don't have to remember this formula. So let's move forward. So now let's see how to derive this particular form. Okay. So now consider a section at any point here C. So now this is at some x, dis x distance. So now what you can write its moment is a function of distance to be m only because here m is constant okay so now using the basic curvature equation you are going to get here which is function of x by ei again which is constant ei okay now what you have to do is integrate both sides okay upon integration so let's write it here what do you get is dy by dx which is y dash is equal to now if you see this term everything is constant here so that means you are going to get m into x by ei plus the constant of integration okay so this is our equation one now again further integrate both sides this equation integrating both sides. What do we get? So now y dash will turn into y plus c1 x plus c2. Next constant of integration. Now important thing to note here is you will get a curvature like this. Okay. Upon this particular condition. So at fixed end, what happens? Your y and y dash is zero at fixed end. That means you can write at x is equal to, that is at particular length, let's say this is L, this total length. You're going to get at x is equal to L. Your y is equal to, y dash is equal to zero. Let's use this condition into these things and solve it further. So by from first equation, what do you get? Your C1 plus ML by EI is going to be equal to C. That means your C1 is equal to minus ML by EI. Now using again uh, the second equation, you are going to get instead of S, X, you are putting L. So ML square 2EI plus c1 into l plus c2 is equal to 0. Now you can put this value into c1. So therefore ml square by 2 ei. So here you can put uh, c1 into it and you will get ml square by ei plus c2 is equal to 0. Therefore your c2 is going to be so this both here it will become minus of the term. So it will go other side and it will become positive. So you will get ML square by 2 
ea okay so now utilizing this what we can write from your equation 2 is your y is equal to mx square by 2 ei plus your c1 right so that is a minus ml by ei into x plus ml square by 2 ei okay so this is your final equation okay let's utilize this further so now you had your cantilever beam here so you are supposed to find so this is the x direction what happens at free end so at x is equal to 0 so at x is equal to 0 when you substitute so you can see here when you substitute x is equal to 0 your first two terms will become 0 that means your y is going to be ml square by 2 ei so this is the formula that i have mentioned earlier so now how to, let's use this value in this particular problem you are given that l is equal to 1 meter and your ei is equal to 200 newton meter square and your m is going to be 1 newton meter okay so substituting these values you are going to get y is equal to 1 into 1 square by 2 into 200 so now what do you get you will get so here you have 1 by 4 in 200 now upon solving this you get 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter which is equal to your 2.5 mm so here you will see that they have asked you in mm that's why i have converted the final answer into mm so your final vertical deflection is going to be 2.5 mm so this is your final answer i hope you understood this problem so why i have shown you the derivation is for like you need not remember the formula you can check out more about this thing uh, this particular concept in uh, in ptl so thank you